So it's a little bit of a change up, you know, from the last two islands, this one should be really nice, really bright, really happy. Shan has created this island. It's a fairy core, springtime, cherry blossom, happy themed island, which is definitely what we need. This island is called Tatooine, named after, I guess, was it the planet in Star Wars? It feels weird coming to this island after we visited two horror, scary themed islands earlier today. This is the flag for Tatooine, which kind of looks like, you know, the scene from Star Wars. And uh, yes, we have one island representative that is Shan. And then the rest of the villagers we have kind of fit the color scheme of the island. They're very like cutesy, innocent, like soft pastel colored villagers. So we have Jev over here. We have Judy. We have my girl Mary, Rosie, Dom, Francine is here, Fuchsia, Fang, Daisy, and Sherb. So very, very cute villagers. Yes, uh, this map is so pretty. Look at this. Okay, so let's open these up. We have four light green and four dark green. So this is the first outfit over here. It's like a bright yellow sunflowery dress. Ah, here we go. Okay, so we're changing into more of a pink outfit. That's pretty cute. I like that. Maybe I'll wear like a mix of the both. Yeah, look at the sky. I just, I love the early morning light. It's just so nice and glowy. The music is really good too. I feel like the 5 a.m., 6 a.m. music is really underrated. We have uh, Lily of the Valleys here to, you know, flex that we're a five-star island. So heading straight down from Resident Services on the beach, we have a purple booth right next to this beachy area. If we head up, there's a teddy bear picnic amongst the cherry blossoms. This reminds me of Sailor Moon, actually. The blanket design. So definitely getting like Usagi vibes here. So we've come on over to Shan's house. This is the only house that's on the island. It's bright pink and white and has a very like natural feel to it. So let's head on inside. Let's take a look at this house. Ooh, okay. Shan says, my home is not fairy core. I decorated it to my liking outside of the theme, but it's got a very like natural wooden homey feel to it. It's very cozy. Yeah, you know what? This whole island is cozy core. That's it. Fairy core, cottage core, but ultimately cozy core. Ooh. <gasps> I want this bathroom in my house. Please, thank you. I want to take a bath here. This looks so cozy. <laughs> Yeah, this is quite funny going from like the outdoor bright pink fairy core theme to like more of um like neutral tones, you know, a dark walls, brown accents. It's quite a different feel in here, but I like it. I like the contrast. <gasps> this is so cute. This is so cute. Uh, I'm getting like cottagey vibes here. Especially, I think, with the wallpaper. Ooh, upstairs now. It's got a little bit of a lighter theme. Why does your upstairs area feel so big compared to, like, my upstairs area? How is it so big? I feel like you hacked the game. This is actually such a cute area for a photo. Look at how cute this is. Aww, this is so cute. I want to live in this room. I want this a house. I would pay good money to stay in this Airbnb. Downstairs um, is an open basement area that's decorated with the autumn items. So we have leaves all over the ground. And then we have the autumn like trees, the wallpaper. So it's animated and you can see all the leaves falling from the sky. Less is more. No, it's not, Kale. More is more. <gasps> what? Butterfly garden. Hold on. This is definitely giving me like, you know, whimsical fairy vibes. I like Animal Crossing butterflies, but like those real butterflies in real life, some of them are so big that I'm like, ugh. <laughs> like I get the, the, that reaction from them. The same reaction I get from dragonflies where I like ugh, see them and I just jump a little bit. I think that's probably one of the cutest things I've ever seen in Animal Crossing. Wow, look at the waterfalls in the background. There's so many picturesque spots on this island. So if we come across this way, this is Chev's house. Lucky Chev has her own library. This is an outdoor sitting area 
library spot. So we have a like a rock garden set up over here around the mushroom. And this also leads to the secret beach. One thing I really like about this island is that it's very focused on, I guess, the nature of Animal Crossing. So we have lots of trees, just nice open outdoor areas. Okay, let's continue down over here. Oh, we're at the campsite now. Here's our person. Here's Shan. <gasps> what is that hat? That's so cute. Oh my gosh, what is this hat? I love it. I love it and I need it. What is that hat? It's the milkmaid hat. <gasps> It's so cute. Look at it. Look at it. I thought she was wearing like um like a knight's helmet or something at first. But it looks they look like little wings on the side of her face. They look like little lacy wings. I'm just going to follow her around. Look at us. Look how much cuter she looks compared to me and my freaking eyes. I think Judy's back here. I don't mean to be rude. Judy, you were the first dreamy to live on my island. I can't believe you've forgotten about me. Okay. So heading upstairs, we're heading over to the right side of the island. There's a little painting area over here with some snacks. I'm actually very impressed. I guess with, you know, the amount of color that's on this island, it's quite easy to integrate these festival items like the, the rainbow drum and like the, the candles and stuff in the background. I tried putting them down on my island and they did not work at all. I like that this island is called Tatooine and it's a super cutesy island. I know and not like some desert. Oh, upstairs, we have a bunch of rivers. I love the bears. I love the bears. Actually, you know what? With the amount of bears that are on this island, I feel like I need to put my bear hat back on. Here we go. I feel more at home this way. Okay, heading over to the right side. This is the museum. The path to the museum, if we head up this way. Oh, leads to Able Sisters. There's a small sewing area and also a mirror in case you want to change your hairstyle or any of your style really this area that we're heading into now if we cross this bridge it's the crescent moon island i've seen a few people do this and i think it looks really really good on the map as well oh this is rosie's house now wow rosie has a flower garden i can't get over how like cutesy every frame of this island is it doesn't matter where you go you stop you pan up picture we have a little elephant watering can which by the way, if you didn't know, I have enamel pins of the elephant water. I, I made three enamel pins of elephant watering cans and I'm gonna be making more cause I wanna make the full set. But yeah, anyway, those are uh, probably one of my favorite tools in the entire game. If you are working on a fairy core or like a spring or floral island, or I don't know if you wanna use the same type of effect. If you craft a cherry blossom umbrella and you turn it around and you place it on the ground, it just looks like a giant flower. Nice enamel <laughs> pin plug, but will take it all the way and say Asachi and Enamel pin can be yours if you go to sachiette.shop. That's sachiette.shop. Sachiette? Get yours today. Zach, thank you so much for the 2,250 stars and the plug. It's sachitv.shop, and I've made a bunch of Animal Crossing themed uh, enamel pins. Oh, wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the area I wanted to see. This is what Shan talked about earlier. She has a forest of gnomes over here. And this is where the gnomes hide all of the lost items that the villagers misplace. You guys know I love gnome shenanigans, okay? My original dream address, which by the way, if you have not watched my original dream address tour, it's up on my YouTube channel, but I love gnome shenanigans okay so yeah here's all the gnomes they're just hiding all of the lost items there's theft occurring on this island i think it's so cute i think this is so cute and like this whole area just looks really nice there's a lot of weeds around here there's like hidden treasures I want to have a gnome theft garden, a theft forest on my Tropicore island. If we head over to the right side, it's my Goyle Mary's house. Oh, Mary. Ooh, she's got expensive taste here. She has the girl with the pearl earring. It looks like she's painting something over here, you know, just casual masterpieces. I think Mary's house color fits in with this island really well because she has the pink roof, blue door and the um, white exterior. We have stumbled across Judy's house. She has a lot of waterfalls beside her house too. Wow, look how pretty that is. Lots of gnomes here. Wow, look at them all. She says, you'll see my gnome swamp area. Okay, so this is the gnome swamp. This is the cutest swamp I think I've ever seen. Does that make Judy the Shrek of this area? Because technically her house is right next to the swamp. What? 
What are you doing in my swamp? I love this cake so much. It's just the weird cat face. Uh, okay, so at the very bottom of the gnome swamp, we have Dom's house. Oh, we have a really pretty, excuse me, I need to show how pretty it is. <laughs> we have a really pretty booth over here. The colors are really pretty. There's more bears. It's me and my family. You need to take a family photo. Me, mom, dad, and sibling. Oh my God, uh, we have, oh, that's so cute. We have matching docks. Oh, that's so cute. He's trapped and he can't move. So I can just take as many pictures as I want now. He's like, please let me off of this dock. <laughs> oh, I really like, okay. So she's used this um, cherry blossom design, like the one right there on the mug. So it's like a little cherry blossom mug. <gasps> Teddy bear party, teddy bear and dolly party. I hope you guys enjoyed today's island tour. It was a very bright, cutesy, fairy core, spring-like island. So I hope this will give you guys inspirations coming up for the springtime season. You know, we're almost there. It's almost time for the Easter event, almost time for cherry blossoms. If you guys wanna check out Cheyenne's Island, I will put her Instagram and her details down in the description box below. If you are new to my channel and uh, you enjoyed this video, I do have more island tours on my channel, so be sure to check that out. And also, I would love it if you could drop me a like and a subscribe. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Uh, bye!